Welcome back to Soccer Republic. Well, newly promoted Longford Town couldn't have asked for sterner tests at the start of their latest Premier Division campaign. Joanne Cantwell now reports on their meeting with Shamrock Rovers. <laughs> Longford Town have been welcomed back to the Premier Division with a bang. Week one against the champions, week two pitted them against one of the big favourites for this season's title. But they've responded manfully, if not fruitfully. Gary Shaw's early effort had Shamrock Rovers under real pressure. At times in attack, Rovers looked classy. Gary McCabe's pass for Danny North was of the highest quality, even if the ball just got away from the striker in the end. And class and quality are two words that could easily be used when describing the opening goal. Yes, Sean O'Connor was given a lot of time and space, but he made the most of these advantages to produce a long-range strike that left Paul Hunt stretching hopelessly. Probably a little less quality about the celebration. Longford had justifiable claims for a penalty when Craig Highland tried to make amends for his fumble by apparently bundling over Shaw. The path of the ball suggests Highland may actually have won the ball. Rovers made it 2-0 when breaking quickly into the Longford half. Kieran Marty Waters was situated perfectly to gain possession and made it look so easy to gain entry into the opposition box. And though Hunt appeared to get a touch to his shot, there was no stopping it. Rovers 2-0 up and in control, a damaging first half for the hosts. So Longford probably needed to get something early in the second half if they were going to mount a comeback. That never materialised though, and Keith Fahey's long ball nearly had Mikey Drennan in for Rovers third instead. In fact, the visitors used the long ball to great effect on numerous occasions. And North was on the end of this one, just not on the score sheet. Their superiority meant that Longford would have to settle for a second defeat from two, despite David O'Sullivan's superb late effort and despite another decent performance. It's a 100% start for a promising looking Rovers. Big decisions as well. We are one down, and you know it's a stonewall penalty. I think everybody will see it on on the TV. Um, I've just watched it myself there. And, you know it's hard. It's hard to take because it does it does change games, especially against the big teams. Yeah, we're delighted with the start. Obviously, last week was a tough game for us against Pats, and we knew coming here it was going to be a tough game, and it proved to be that. You know, top first half we played really well. Could have scored a couple more, but Longford put us under a lot of pressure in the second half. You know, we had a right hours change and went two up top and caused us a few problems, but delighted to get the three points again. Yes, a good start to the season for Pat Fenlon and Shamrock Rovers. You heard uh, Longford Town manager Tony Cousins there referring to the uh, penalty incident, which we'll have a look at shortly. But first of all, Trevor, in relation to the two goals scored by Shamrock Rovers, for Longford Town not to get involved in a, in a relegation battle, they, they need to tighten up a bit at the back, won't they? They will indeed. Sean's just drifted in, as you can see from the side. and. He's striking it from a long way, you know. You'd, you'd like your keeper maybe to do a little bit better from that kind of distance. And then the second goal is down the side. Pat needs to get on it quickly. He needs to get there and then make his decision. It's poor clearance and Marty does really, really well. He drives at the back four. It's a good finish. So from Rovers' point of view, really, really good goals, but they're certainly preventable. Yeah. Tony said he, he was happy with the level of performance they showed against Dundalk and they only lost by, by the odd goal. So, uh, you know, two stern tests for them, Alan. And did they deserve something on the night, including the, the penalty shout? Well, he heard even Pat in his interview say that they put them under a lot of pressure. This is the penalty. Yeah. It's Gary Shaw involved with Highland. I actually think I agree with Tony Cousins. It is a penalty. Shaw just touches it wide. Now, I think in the referee's mind what he might feel is the ball is going away from the goal and maybe that's why he didn't give it. But for me, it certainly was a penalty. I thought Highland clipped Shaw.